there were few shortcomings surrounding AWS Lambda logging and its control. Let me quickly explain those before I share today's update. Imagine in your application, you have many Lambda functions. Sometimes you may have many Lambda functions for each microservices and each Lambda will post all those logs to individual log group. So you will end up having lots of log group each for each Lambda function. Now, if you need to apply security governance or retention policy at your application level, in that case, you have to go through each log group and apply those settings which is lot of work so it will be nice if you have option to apply these settings at application level in other way if you have option to aggregate all the logs to some application level log groups in each lambda function we used to write log events at different different level but we didn't have any option to control these levels for example if we write debug info error no matter which environment it is running no matter what is our requirement it will be always printed debug log is more relevant when we are developing application and we want to know in and out of each request response and event it receives or maybe we are troubleshooting some issues that time we may need to go through this debug log but in day-to-day -day stable application we may not be interested to look into other logs like debug info we may be more interested into error log so log level controlling was missing so far welcome to what's new at aws aws lambda has introduced advanced logging controls let me guide you through how it will overcome the shortcomings that we have just discussed to set the stage i have already created two lambda function for our imaginary trading application equity order submission and mutual fund order submission function and I have already tested and that created two log groups with some log events and we can see both platform logs and application logs inside these log groups. Now if you need to search anything you need to rely on string search. Let's say for troubleshooting purpose if you need to extract all Microsoft buy orders just by string search I'm sure it will not be convenient. Similarly even if you use log insight you will have limited option in terms of filtering because of this flat text format let's go back to lambda console and select one dummy lambda function scroll down click configuration tab click monitoring and operation tools and here you will find this logging configuration section click edit so now you can see we have option to choose the log format text and json and if we choose json format then we'll get lots of advantage in terms of searching filtering or analyzing huge volume of log events on top of that we have option to choose log level trace is the most fine-grained one and fatal is the least detail if you choose any particular log level anything below that will be printed and we can do this on the fly so even if you write trace debug info one error fatal logs in your lambda function on the fly we can change the log level and based on our requirement and environment we can push those events to cloudwatch log so it will help to reduce the number of log entries and it will help you to focus on limited number of log events to expedite your troubleshooting and debugging also by choosing correct log level you can also control or save some cost scroll down and for system log level you will have three options to choose log levels and these are mostly platform logs that lambda generates and again choosing a more detailed log level will incur additional cost scroll down and in log group section we have option to choose custom log group this is very powerful if you want to redirect all relevant logs from different related lambda to a single log group that you can do from here for example in our imaginary trading application we have two lambdas equity order submission and mutual fund order submission so it makes sense to redirect both logs to a single log group under one application for example application trading then click save let's go back and do the same thing for mutual fund order submission function 
configuration monitoring edit select json info info let's say for custom so we have already created the log group so we'll choose the existing one application trading here note one thing if that log group does not exist then it will create a new one click save now we'll run few round of testing so that it will generate new logs let's go to test mutual fund order buy test 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 mutual fund order sale test 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 now let's go back to equity order submission function test equity order buy wait couple of times sale wait couple of times now let's go back to cloudwatch log groups click refresh and we can see our new log group application trading before we go to that log group let me show you nothing is redirected here so if you see this is from the previous day and this is the one which is just created let's open one log stream and we can see info log from our application but you will not see the debug log here because we have chosen info so only info error warning or fatal will be printed now imagine a situation you need to print debug log so what you can do you can go back to equity order configuration edit select debug level click save and go to test and hit test button few times now we should see our debug log which will basically print this event go back to cloudwatch and here we can see our debug log so basically without changing code we are able to control the log level now logs are captured in json format so we'll quickly check how it will help in searching and filtering from huge log events let's go to log insights select our log groups application trading and run the query and it retrieved all the messages this is one of the application debug log now imagine a situation we are troubleshooting one issue related to buy order for microsoft and we need to retrieve all events related to buy and microsoft previously it was very difficult just by doing string search or writing a complex pattern but now it is very easy let's go to query so now we can extract each field like symbol and use that for filtering so run this query now it extracted all the log events by symbol microsoft so now you can use each of this attribute or field in your filtering criteria and this will help you to expedite your troubleshooting or debugging effort and lastly let's go back to log groups so we are able to aggregate all logs from related lambda functions under same application to one log group we can select that log group and apply security settings governance or retention policy at application level without going through each log group separately so take advantage of these advanced logging controls to change log levels on the fly search and filter logs effectively to expedite troubleshooting and aggregate logs to apply security governance and retention policies at the application level that's it for today's update thanks for watching I'll see you in the next one. Until then, happily float on the cloud.